So William Simmons was a puppet maker and a wood carver and he moved to Gloucestershire in 1919 to come and join the community that had been started in the 1890s by Jimson and the Barnsleys. He, he was friends with quite a few of those people already from his time in London. He studied as an artist, first of all, in the 1890s and 1900s in London at the Royal Academy schools, and he had produced quite a lot of paintings for the Royal Academy exhibitions. But in about 1914, around the time of the beginning of the war, he had um, become a, a puppet maker and a, and a wood carver, and he became really quite well known in his time, in the 1920s, 30s, and after the war, for the work that he did. He did all of his puppet shows himself. Um, they're really quite magical. Uh, when you look at the puppets, they're articulated in all sorts of different ways, um, quite individual and quite artistic. Most of his puppet plays didn't have a script. They were set to music, and the puppets danced their way through them. And the wood carvings, he paid a lot of attention, as did a lot of arts and crafts makers, to the natural world. There are hardly any of his paintings in public collections. In fact, the only four oil paintings um, that are in public collections at all are in the Museum of Gloucester. So these represent the whole of his oil paintings um, that are available for the public to see. The paintings, when they came to us, the four paintings in, in the Museum of Gloucester's collection, um, had been in William Simmons' workshop for quite a few years. They came to us rolled up we can't display them, save for the one that we've already had conserved, because simply they're a rolled up piece of canvas. To be able to show them for people to see, we must have them conserved. Um, and we, we know that if they stay rolled up like this, their condition will deteriorate over time, and there'll become a point where nobody will ever be able to see them again. We need you to help us raise the money to save these magical paintings.